Hey YouTube, Scott Scott Off-Road, how you doing today? Well, it is a beautiful Nebraska day this early November and we're out going to finish working on the Jeep today. Got the engine in and then blew out a pinion. So, come along, let's get this taken care of. Tell me what you think. Those of you new to the channel I'm Scott this is Scott off-road I tend to spend most of my time working in the garage working on the Jeeps trying to go on as many trips as I can if you like watching videos about that seeing me fix different things that come up with normal garage stuff please consider subscribing following it doesn't cost anything it helps out the channel immensely if you are a subscriber and been watching, thank you very much. The channel's been growing pretty quick lately. It's kind of nice to see. All right. Got the engine in, obviously. Jeep's running great. Every now and again, I get a hint, a faint smell of antifreeze, and I'm not sure where it's coming from. I'm not getting any puddles anywhere. Everything's been replaced. I'm thinking it might be heater core, but again, I'm not real sure. I'm still kind of investigating that. This video though is the rear pinion. We had problems. Took the uh, Jeep out on a test drive. Ran great. Rear pinion blew. It was spraying fluid everywhere. So, dropped the rear uh, dry shaft and the pinion nut was loose. So, replaced the pinion seal, still seeped. Went to replace the pinion and or the opinion yoke part store had the wrong one so they ordered another one wrong one ordered another one wrong one so after four or five days of ordering parts and finally getting the right one in we got the pinion in so come along watch consider subscribing if you haven't as always like subscribe follow and you have a blessed day and remember you fix the jeep the jeep fixes you and five minutes later or actually 15 by the camera that's done eh, actual video five six minutes who knows hopefully she don't leak anymore let's go for a drive all right it's been a week since we got the uh, rear pinion seal put in we don't have a leak we're good to go. I want to take a few minutes here to give you some updates and just give you a little bit of information. But first off, all the subscribers, everyone who's been watching, thank you very much. People who've been commenting, asking questions, really appreciate it. That's huge. It helps out a lot. So we're going to do a format change here on the channel. After over two years, a video a week, we're gonna slow down. I don't know if we're gonna do every two week videos or a video once a month, or if I'm actually just gonna wait until I have something big coming up with the Jeep. What really seems to be the popular videos that people like is just me working in the garage and modifying or fixing things, or building like the Overland trailer. So I think we're gonna take a break as we get modifications, I don't want to do a, a boring video that's five minutes long on installing a remote switch on my winch and calling that a video for a week. I'd rather do a bigger project or a lot of little projects into one video and have one good video. And I think that will help. Again, I wanted to thank everybody for coming along for the ride, for liking, subscribing, for following. Again, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Again, it's free, it's easy, doesn't take much time. 
ring that bell and when I do put out videos you'll be on the first list to know that they came out as always like subscribe follow you have a blessed day remember you fix the Jeep the Jeep fixes you